Nautical infrastructure, such as harbours, ports, quays, wharves, berths, docks, piers and jetties, are often difficult to differentiate as many of them are used interchangeably and often where there is one you will find another. For example, a commercial harbour, which some people would call a port, might have a dock, which in Britain would refer to this area of water, but in North America, dock would refer to all of this land, which you could also call a wharf or a quay. Even civil engineering resources, encyclopedias, and government maritime resources often differ when explaining their specific definitions. A harbour is a structure that partially encloses a portion of water to provide shelter to marine vessels from strong winds, tides, and waves. Harbours can be natural, semi-natural, or artificial. They can be located on the seashore, a riverbank, a lake, or a canal, and they can be further classified by what they are used for, being a marina harbour, military harbour, commercial harbour, fishery harbour, or a harbour of refuge. The term harbour is somewhat interchangeable with port. A port is a place on the coast that facilitates the loading and unloading of cargo. When a harbour is used for commerce and trade purposes, including cargo, passengers, or anything that generates revenue, these harbours are called ports. One rule to remember is that all ports are harbours. However, all harbours are not ports. A key is a general term for a part of the riverbank or coastline that has been modified so that it can be used for mooring and for the loading and unloading of goods and passengers. It is situated parallel to the shore and built solid. A wharf is the key at which ships dock in a port or terminal, as well as the adjacent warehouses in which goods are stored before loading or after unloading. A key is more or less synonymous with a wharf, and the two are often used interchangeably. A berth, much like a wharf, is also the key at which ships dock in a port or terminal. However, unlike the wharf, berth only refers to this landing spot. It does not include the warehouses and other infrastructure. Each terminal or port will have several berths so that they can service several ships at one time. A dock is an enclosed area of water in a port where ships are loaded, unloaded, built and repaired. In North America, the term dock is used interchangeably with pier or wharf. But in Britain, a dock is referring to the area of water in between the piers or wharves. Within the British definition, there are three general types of docks. Wet docks, which have gates to control water and allow ships with high tidal ranges to remain afloat at low tide. Dry docks, which have gates that allow water to be emptied for maintenance of underwater parts and floating docks, which lift a ship out of water when no land-based facilities are available. A pier is a platform on piles or pillars, projecting from the shore into the water, which allows the tide and current to flow underneath it relatively undisturbed. There are three main types of piers. Working piers, pleasure piers, and fishing piers. Generally speaking, a jetty is a long, narrow structure that stretches from the shore into the water and protects the shoreline from the currents, tides and waves. The two principal kinds of jetties are those constructed at river mouths and other coastal entrances, and those used for the berthing of ships in harbours and offshore where harbour facilities are not available. In many cases, it shares this second definition with piers, and these two terms are now used more or less interchangeably. For example, the very first iron pleasure pier was named the Margate Jetty, even though it's quite clearly a pier.